Hi folks, so the big budget announcements have been made and we are here to simplify it all for you. Just in case you're confused, a lot of announcements on uh, personal income tax. So finally, finally, how many years of wait? In seven years or more? Oh, uh, yes. We've, we've not had any kind of lowering or reduction. This time, not an out-and-out out lowering, but I think a fair amount of changes that we need to talk about. Uh, yes, and actually the expectation was it will be in the old tax regime, but lo and behold, it is actually in the new income tax regime, and a lot of changes there, some sweeteners added as we are pointing out as well, so let's get started with the changes. Oh yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. First of all, I mean, we don't want to confuse you. Let's start with the basics. Yeah. This old and new business. So basically, if you remember, just a couple of years back, the government had introduced what is called the concessional income tax regime. At that point, it was a new tax regime. Even today, we are referring to it as the new tax regime, okay? So this concessional income tax regime had a lot of slabs. It had up to seven slabs. Uh, the big sort of uh, issue was that not too many people had switched over to that regime. Why? Because the calculations showed that it was perhaps only good for people in the slightly lower income yeah. brackets. Uh, it did not offer you any exemptions or deductions. So not too many people switched over. Today, the government has decided to add some sweeteners, hoping that more of us uh, now opt for the new regime. Yes, so the first thing is it has become the default tax yeah. regime, right? Very important of one, course, it's the default for, tax, yes. tax regime. So, now, of course, yes. you can go ahead and opt for the older one where concessions will be available, but this continues to be the default from 2023 2024. That's the financial year. So, that's the big takeaway. And of course, they've changed the tax rates here as well. The biggest one being that the rebate that you actually have in any taxation regime. That has been increased to 7 lakh versus 5 lakh rupees earlier. So, be. so of course, it means if you have an income till 7 lakh rupees, you will enjoy the rebate on the taxation that you'll pay here. For old regime, that is with concession, it's just still at 5 lakh rupees as okay. well. Okay, I'm again, again going to dial back and slow <laughs> it down even further. First things first, if you're an individual salaried person or an HUF, you can opt for the new regime. In fact, it's become your default regime. So now, if you want to be in the old regime, then you have to explicitly go yeah. and tell your CA that or, or tell your office, your, your payroll team that. So that's, that's number one. Uh, the second is those who have income from business or profession, not salary, business mm. or profession, they cannot uh, endlessly go on opting for the old regime. For the new fiscal year that's going to start in April, they may choose to go and opt for the old regime, but the next year onwards, they will also be moved uh, by default to the new default tax regime. So keep that in mind depending on which category of a taxpayer uh, you, you are in. Uh, I'll just quickly go over the slab rates and then we'll come to the, the 7 lakhs yes. rebate, which is, a, which is a really good one. The slab rates, take a paper and pencil if you have one handy or else we'll try and sort of put some of the graphics out there as well. This is the new default tax regime. The first slab rate is 0 to 3 lakhs, nil tax, no tax if your taxable income is 0 to 3 lakhs. The next one is 3 to 6 lakhs, here the tax liability is 5%. Now we move to the next, 6 to 9 lakh rupees, the tax liability is 10%, 9 to 12 lakh rupees, uh, this slab is at 15% income tax, 12 to 15 is at 20%, uh, above 50 lakhs. 30%. So straight away first, you know, immediate comparison zone that comes to mind is in the old regime, anyone with a taxable income of above 10 lakhs straight away falls into 30%. 30%. But now here, if you are uh, above 15%, then you fall under 30%. So that, I mean, is the yes, first relief like, to begin with. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a relief, yeah. uh, right? And you spoke about rebate. So mm -hmm. the general confusion that we were hearing from people also, what happens? Are they trying to like exempt it till 7 lakhs? But mm -hmm. that's not the case. It's still exempt till 3 lakhs. No tax till 3 lakhs. Yeah. But only if you have an income of up to 7 lakhs is when the rebate will be allowed under Section 87A. That means the taxes as per the calculated slab rates, that will be uh, given back to you. That is something that will be allowed as a deduction from the gross taxable rate as well. So that is what rebate means. If you have 9 lakhs, you will have to go as per your slab okay, rates as well. Slab so 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 3, 6 to 9, that is something you will have to apply. Yeah. So only till 7 lakhs is this rebate available. But it's important because it's been increased from 5 to 7. And in the old regime, it's still at 5 lakhs. So it yeah. continues to show that there is focus on the new tax regime more. Like so that people actually go ahead mm -hmm. and opt for it, which was not happening earlier. Yeah. That's a lot of numbers <laughs> already. Okay, let's now take it to the next level. What else does this new regime offer? It actually offers standard deduction, yeah. which was not the case uh, when it was first introduced back in 2020. 
So there will be a standard deduction of 50,000. What that means is that from your total taxable income, let's say X is your yeah. total taxable income, straight away 50,000 uh, is knocked off and you come to a, a lower level and then sort of you start uh, paying tax as per your slab. So I think that, that should be some relief for a lot of yes, people. Yes, of yeah. course, because that is uh, something that was available in the old tax regime and people were like, if no standard deduction is available in the new one, why should we why go? Should, why why should, should we switch? go? Yeah. And the other one that you have been pointing out since morning, you've had conversations as well, is what happened to H&I. So there as well, they've come up with a different tax rate as well. So higher surcharge slap, it is lowered from 37% to 25%. It is for anyone who opts for a new tax regime and for people who earn a higher rate of income as well. So you put out these numbers up to rupees 50 lakh, there is no surcharge. 50 lakh to 1 crore rupees, it is 10% of surcharge that you have to pay. 1 crore to 2 crores, 15% of surcharge. And above 2 crore rupees, it is 25%. So again, it is a push towards the new tax regime. And uh, this effective tax, its I don't know how much of an impact will it have, to be honest, because it's not such a big fall that you're seeing here in the overall final rate mm -hmm. from 43% to 30 39%, but looks like, yes, it will be some difference that will be made for the yeah. high net worth individuals as well. Uh, so that's the another but change. Only, but only if these uh, super rich people, uh, they switch to the new yes, tax of regime. Course it if will. the super rich want to remain in the old regime, they, they still have to pay the higher surcharge rate. If they choose to switch, do away with the, the you know additional deductions, yeah. exemptions, then there is a some softening of the surcharge and they come down to now the maximum marginal tax rate comes exactly. at. 39%. So that's as far as the super but I, I'm not, yeah. it, it doesn't impact me. I don't know who we're talking about. Not, so but I'm just talking about will it make a big impact, so to say, is something that we yeah, have to see, yeah, right? Yeah. Will they actually switch from the older regime to the new yeah, regime? Yeah, for that? absolutely. So we have to look out for that. Okay, guys. Now, one more important thing that you must keep in mind is uh, property. Yeah. Uh, again, not uh, not likely to impact too many people in you know the, the Ahmadmi, the middle class of India. But we should really put yeah. this out. Now, till now, if you were selling a residential property and reinvesting those gains in another property, you could save on what is called capital gains tax. Now, the relief has been capped at 10 crore rupees. So, you cannot be exempt above 10 crores from your capital gains liability if you are selling your big, fat, fancy house, which See? is fe fe fetching you like <laughs> big, big, girl, you know, so, millions. So, we sell something for 50 crore rupees, makes a profit of 20 crore yeah, rupees, yeah, yeah. but now... <laughs> Since that capital gains is around 20 crore rupees, earlier you could have received that exemption, more exemption here, uh, around 20 crore rupees, if you invest that 50 crore rupees in some other property as well. But now it has been capped to 10 crore rupees. That's the only exemption that you'll get. So that 10 crores will still be taxed as capital gains tax. So as we said, will not impact the middle class, but a lot of people, they go ahead and invest in other properties, high luxury apartments, yeah. in order to save that tax. And that's exactly what she said as well in the speech. Uh, in all in order to curb that, the tax concession, so to say, they're going ahead and curbing or capping the limit to 10 crore rupees. So when I sell my sea castle this year <laughs> and reinvest it in my apple orchard, uh, you know, fancy house, well... Uh, Please call I, me there. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to pay tax. <laughs> Essentially, I'll have to pay tax. Joking, guys, joking. Yeah. Okay, now that is on property. No other major changes. Yeah. Uh, one more thing that we haven't pointed out, uh, the dampener, really, for the new tax regime. So you get standard deduction, which is 50,000, but the big one, ATC, ATD, yeah. you don't no get changes. that. So now this new new default tax regime that we are in, uh, that one and a half lakh rupees under ATC, where all your uh, ELSS, your, you know, the policies, PPF, all that would come in, your PF would come in, those uh, deductions are not available in the new tax regime. Health insurance, 25,000 for self, 50,000 for senior citizens, the ATD deductions, Again, not available in the new tax regime, which again brings us back to the point. I think we'll have to go back and really sit with the calculator, yes. pen and paper, and yes. see which, which regime makes sense. Yes, so uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing after this live. Of course, if you have any questions, please send it to us. If not now, we'll be taking that up in our latest shows, but keep writing to us. That's the update as of now, as far as the income tax front. You have something to say. I have one more point. Yeah, by the way, we'll be taking your questions on, on TV. Uh, we are live at 3.30. And once again at 7 p.m. this evening, we're again live on social media uh, and on our digital property. So keep sending those questions in because lots of clarifications are coming through the course of the day. Uh, we'll end with the one aspect on which right now there isn't enough clarification, yeah. and that's life insurance. So what the budget has essentially said is that uh, if you are paying a premium of over 5 lakh rupees on your insurance policy, and these are not the ULIP policies which mm. are linked to the market, 
uh, but the non ulip policies, your traditional policies, the money that you earn, which the insurer pays back, uh, the earning that you have on that policy, some of these are sort of a investment come, uh, come protection plan as they're sort of sold in the market. Whatever you're earning from this policy, now if the premium is over 5 lakh rupees, you will have to pay tax on that earning as per your slab rate. And I think this is causing a lot of oh, clutter yes. and a fair amount of sort of heartburn out there. Oh yes, it will because this is something which was not expected and mm. additionally, we are still analyzing what it would mean in the hands of a taxpayer and generally for the insurance industry as well. So that's of course the big update that we have received yeah. on the income tax front and of course we'll keep analyzing that for you and bringing you more updates. So do write to us as we said at 3.30 and 7 p.m. We'll be taking up those queries as well. Thank you so much for joining us on this live.